All right, so this is our Sierra 10 Pro. If you guys noticed, we did a video where I replaced the MOSFET SSR thing here. Well, this board is an 8-bit board, and it sucks. It's slow, and we can't run input shaping on it with having all the other features. So I basically want this printer to have input shaping, auto bed leveling, and we want to put our NeoPixel LED kit on here, and I can't do that with the stock board. Basically, I can run ABL, NeoPixels, and that's it. If I want input shaping, i got to disable auto bed leveling. So... Matt right now is working on an adapter that will allow us to take this board out and put in our EasyBoard V2 in the stock location. Now, this has a ribbon cable and this is the reason why this printer is not officially supported by any of our boards in the firmware. So I haven't decided yet, but I think we're either going to put ends on this, so cut this off, figure out what wires are what, or what Matt suggested, which I kind of like the idea better, is just getting rid of this breakout board completely and running new wires for the motors, end stops, heaters, etc., and just come through the hole here. So we're going to get this adapter bracket made so we can get rid of this old-ass board, and then we're going to do a live stream installing the EasyBoard V2 in here from start to finish so we can actually bring this printer into the 21st century because it is still a decent machine.